Number three, Metro is mapping out its future with new stations and signs, but there's also warning of potential layoffs, hiring freeze and service cuts. Everybody is feeling this pinch. Jeanette Dale from Axios joining us now to break down uh, what this all means. And so, Jeanette, let's start with the new vision for what these new Metro stations will look like. Tell us about but it. But before we do that, we have to say happy birthday to you, don't <laughs> we? Isn't it your birthday? <laughs> happy birthday, Jeanette. Thank you, Joe. You don't look thank a day you, over thank 16 you so much. years old. Yeah, man, I Friday. appreciate that. Man, enjoy <laughs> yourself. Now, tell us about Metro. It's great. It's great, <laughs> it's great to be on. Yeah, uh, this is a, uh, they're calling it a blue line loop. They're trying to, you know, one of the visions for Metro is how can we expand the uh, blue line? And they, and this one proposal is it would add a station in Georgetown, Buzzer Point, come down to St. Elizabeth's and go all the way to National Harbor and connect over the river. And this is one of six proposals Metro is looking at for the future. Uh, mm. It would add a bunch of riders, Prince George's County. They're, they, they seem to want this, you know, without a lot of uh, foot traffic and, and economic development. But uh, here's the yes but, as we like mm -hmm. to say at Axios, it would cost $30, $35 billion, and that's Whoa. the uh, current projection. Billion dollars. Would it be? Yeah. And so Metro, yeah. I mean, they're already talking about funding issues, so I don't know how likely that is. Plus, you have places like Georgetown that's historically fought having metro, a metro station there. So how will you convince those people that this loop would be a good thing? I think they've got some, some issues ahead of them there. Exactly. There's going to be all, this is like the Super Bowl of community meetings. Like, <laughs> can you imagine something being held about the, the new metro being built in Georgetown or these other communities. Another proposal is extending Silver Line into uh, northeast D.C. through Georgetown and then into sort of the northeast where wow. sort of Costco is now. So, but um, this is okay. far from done. It's sort of how can metro plan ahead? Uh, that's, yeah. it's very, it's very much up to the community too. They can weigh in on this. Okay. Um, are there any alternative uh, future plans that don't cost $35 billion. Anything else we see in the pipeline costs a little bit more, uh, around $100 million. Well, one of, one of the proposals is uh, do nothing or increase bus service. But Metro is pointing out that the region is going to keep growing yep. and they need a plan ahead. And okay. uh, D.C., you know, could use a sort of boost as well as it plans ahead for the coming decades. But um, everything from metro bus lines uh, and to metro uh, rail signage and how to make the trains uh, seem more sort of um, understandable, navigable for re for uh, riders, mm -hmm. that's all being uh, considered as well right now. All right, Metro. I, I listen. They've wow. got. They're always trying to, to get together billion. and do more, but that funding issue remains a problem. Jeanette Dell, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Man. Maybe they'll rename one of the Metro Thank stocks you. after you in honor of you and all your good work. Yeah. How about that? The Jeanette Dell Metro stock. How about that? Randy Clark. <laughs> there you go. Talk to them. Randy Clark watches, so maybe, hey, maybe Randy. we'll put it out there. Bo. Thanks a lot, Jeanette. Okay, so we'll have to wait. Maybe the Joe Claire station. Boy. That'll be the one that goes through we need to rename. We need to rename Addison Road the Joe Claire <laughs> station isn't on the blue lot, line. Isn't there a lot happening on that road? A little, eh. Yeah, exactly. That's why we need to okay. name it. Ram my way. <laughs>